Good evening, everybody. Uh, we are about to start our video preview for SMB Summer Select Cell. Uh, we're just getting a couple of things tied up over here so that we can have somebody on Facebook fielding any questions. Um, I want to make sure that we have a sound check. Um, we have a new microphone, so we want to make sure that it's operating properly. Okay, we are going to get started. It sounds like we've got our sound working. We are here to do our preview for our summer select sale. With these online sales and the previews, we like to start out with a little bit just for people that may be doing this for the first time on how to get to everything and make sure they know how to bid. So We'll start out by going to our own website, the smbhorsesales.com. When you get here to the main page, there are a few quick links right here. You notice one of them says register to bid. There's also a link over here that says click here to bid online. Both of these buttons will take you into our Octria site where the bidding takes place and um, the auction bidding will all take place in the Octria site. So there's links there. You can also go here to our gallery and again there's uh, if you haven't registered you can click there to register to bid online if you've already registered you can click here to go online um, there is if you're looking further tomorrow and you'd rather in this format you can go through and look at the horses in here as well um, and then we have the online catalog here that you can also flip through so we're going to jump into the octria site just by clicking on the click here to bid and touch on a few administrative things here and then we will jump into talking about some of these horses so this will automatically drop you into the catalog portion and all the bidding takes place in that catalog portion uh, we'll talk here a little bit about the practice bidding here in a minute if you go down to the bottom um, there's a link that will take you to the stream that we've got going now on YouTube. When we get done, that'll still be there. So if somebody wants to come back tomorrow and watch this, uh, you can go there and click on it and watch what we're doing tonight. It will still be there. Um, we want to touch on uh, terms and conditions of the sale as well as consigner info. Um, we stress that it's important for buyers to contact these consigners before you bid on the horses. Um, we seldomly have issues uh, where a buyer has talked to the consigner, discussed the horse, um, and has asked specific questions. Where we typically run into issues is when a buyer hasn't talked to the consigner, bids on a horse that they haven't done any homework on, and then they get the horse home and find out that it's not a fit from a personality standpoint and it's usually just can easily be resolved by talking to the consigners so if you're interested in a horse you're going to be bidding and you haven't yet please take the time tonight tomorrow morning tomorrow afternoon contact these consigners um, their hip numbers are here the phone numbers are here locations are here we want to remind everybody in this sell the horses sell from the consigner locations so buyers that buy these horses will be responsible to pick up the horses from these locations um, where they're at. Now some of these consigners are willing to work with you on that, meet you part way, um, whatever. You can call and talk to them about those options. We do also have some commercial transports listed down here that we're familiar with. If you need that, reach out and, and talk to them. The terms and conditions are down here of the sale. Please review those. Uh, by bidding in the sale, you accept those terms and conditions um, and those are binding. So with that, um, we have some questions on occasion on changing out credit cards or adjusting information in your account. If you click on that account, it'll let you go in and, and edit some things from there. So we're going to come back here to the catalog. 
Um, let it load. We're going to talk a little bit about the bidding real quick. Um, so I'm going to load up. Um, well, we've got some bidding going on on a horse. It did just open at 7 o'clock with this preview. Uh, you see a notification popped up there. But we're going to talk a little bit about the different ways to bid. Um, this is a practice bid. Um, it's currently sitting in the quick bid mode. So the next bid increment would be 30125 30, You just click on it. You click OK. It goes to the next. Now somebody's got a proxy bid in, so it's telling me I've got to bid again um, to get above their proxy bid. Um, that will keep going until it hits the top of the proxy bid. Now if you want to set a proxy bid, if you go into this bid custom amount, notice right here there is a place proxy bid note. It's automatically checked. So if you put an amount in here that's higher than if it's higher than uh, if you want to put a max amount and set a proxy bid, let the system bid for you, you can put your max budget in. Click bid. The system will automatically set that as a proximate bid. That's your maximum. It doesn't mean you're bidding 45000 It just means that you will bid up to that. Okay, now we got above whoever else had the proxy bid in there, and our proxy bid will sit. Now, if we just want to move to uh, an actual amount and try to move up, we undo that. Now, we were in at 45 on our proxy bid, so we'll go to 46. Click bid. And notice it'll just jump to that amount. So keep in mind, if you're trying to proxy bid, that needs to be checked. If it's not checked, it will just put in the amount you're bidding. So with that, um, you can kind of see some history on, on the bidding. Um, but that is the three ways you can bid. So you have quick bid mode. We'll just bid in the next increment. Custom mode, you can enter custom amounts, and depending on whether the proxy bid is clicked or not, will determine on whether the system bids for you up to a budget or just moves, puts in the amount that you enter. So with that, notice right here we can toggle uh, to the next item. We're going to go to hit number one. I want to touch on one other thing here. In the pictures, um, all these horses have pre-purchase exams. If you open up the pictures, and scroll to them, those pre-purchase exams will be there. Every horse has them. They're all written by different vets, depending on where the consigners are, so they're a little bit different format. Uh, but there is uh, basic requirements that we require on these pre-purchase. It includes a general health check of the horse, um, heart rate, temperature, uh, check and eyes. If it's a great horse, the vet verified the age by the teeth. Um, and then they do a flex exam on all four legs, observe the horse, in a walk and a trot after that flex exam um, and they also use hoof testers to check um, there are no x-rays in that but there are notes there um, from the flex exams that would give you an indication if you need to dig deeper on anything so every horse has a pre-purchase up and posted and it's in the pictures if you're looking for it with that the videos are right down here right below the catalog right up we're going to jump into hip number one watch a little bit of his video right here um, hip number one is Wally. He's brought to us by Cobb Family Horses and Mules, located up in Weezer, Idaho. He's a 2012 model, grade gelding. Uh, they say he's super gentle, and he stands about 14 three hands. Um, they say he's worth his weight in gold and is super easy to catch. Says he'll, They say he'll ride off safe every time. He's been ridden by all level of riders uh, and done all jobs around the ranch. For those that are not familiar with the Cobb family. They've got a roughly 20,000 acre ranch up there in Weezer, Idaho um, that they run cattle on. Uh, we actually went up and did a little live stream up there last week. We were visiting um, and got to see some of their ranch. Uh, they were just gathering cattle last week, as a matter of fact, um, to, to ship. Um, and I think not this horse, but several of the horses that they have in this cell were used gathering cattle just a week ago. Uh, but these horses see a lot of that country. You can see back and behind there up into those hills. Um, a lot of that is their ranch, and these horses get ridden all over up in that country, used around the ranch, used to doctor, used to drag calves, used to gather. Um, and they also do quite a bit in the arena. They do a fair amount of roping down around there, and, and their kids are heavily involved in uh, play days and rodeos and high school rodeo. So their horses see a wide variety of different things, um, and you can see some of the country in these videos where they get used. Uh, this is just a good, nice, solid, gentle gelding. He's nine years old. 
uh, right in the prime of his life, got a lot of life ahead of him. And you can see here he's got a good disposition. Um, you see him here crossing the canal. He's got a pretty head, uh, nice confirmation for a good solid little gelding. Um, picks up his lead there. Just a good solid, nice gelding to start out the sell that people can ride on. I know we've had a lot of comments too. He's just that pretty bay color. Um, got a pretty head. Just a nice put together, solid, good kind of all around using horse right here. Uh, it's going to start our sale tomorrow night. Um, again, the bidding's open now, but this will be the first one to close. I'm going to touch on that too for those that are doing it the first time. Um, the bidding's open. It will stay open till tomorrow. Uh, a lot of that's to give you an opportunity to get familiar with the system, understand um, how it works, be comfortable with it before this bidding starts closing. This horse right here, the bidding will close at 5 o'clock Mountain Standard Time tomorrow evening. Uh, if anybody bids in the last 60 seconds on any horse, it will extend that horse by two minutes. That will not change the time of any other horse in the cell, only the horse that got bid on in the last 60 seconds. So there is a possibility that a horse could extend multiple times and actually close later than a later hip number. Um, we want to make sure everybody's aware of that, but the initial closing time is set to be every five minutes. So this horse will close at five, hip number two. 505 hip number three at 510 and so on throughout the sale so if you've got a list of horses you're looking at you're after one but you've got a list uh, if you miss on your first horse you can move on to your list and still have an opportunity to bid on them so again this is hip number one wally brought to us by cobb family horses he's located in weezer idaho um, we're going to move on to hip number two here again you come down and click on the videos right here they're right below the write up Hip number two is Rudy. He's a 2015 Greg Gelding brought to us by RMO Horses over in Heber City, Utah. Uh, you can see him here. He participated in the 4th of July rodeo just a few weeks ago. Um, if you're not familiar with RMO, they've got an outfitting business up there in Heber City. Uh, they do everything from guiding fishermen and hunters to a uh, haunted hollow thing in the fall where they do headless horsemen off of horses they do uh, visit santa sleigh ride um, and then they do a lot of ranch work on these horses so when you're looking at an rmo horse you can be guaranteed it's well-rounded and seen a little bit of everything they also do a lot of shows uh, for the heber creeper railroad up there these horses just get exposure to all different kinds of things up there with rmo rudy is 15 hands he's been gentle they've used him out on the mountains and trails uh, they've used him for ranch jobs. They've used him to brand and doctor and gather and sort on. You can ride off alone on him as well as in a group. He's one most anyone can ride. He's been used a lot outside. Goes where you ask him across water, downfall. He knows how to get around in the mountains. There's no spook or surprises with him. He'll saddle up and go for a ride with this guy and he'll cover some ground for you with a smooth ride. He's old enough to have seen some miles, young enough to have a lot of, a lot of miles ahead of him. Um, just a good solid all around gelding right here he's palomino to go with it uh, and he's just entering the prime of his life six years old um, and again he just I can't touch enough on with a, a lot of these consigners the exposure that they get um, these horses get with these guys uh, is a lot of great experience um, and gonna get miles on horses that a lot of times horses don't see anymore uh, you'll see here, they'll work the tarp with him and around. Just a good, solid, well-rounded gelding right here. You see him licking his lips there, relaxed, riding out while he's working that tarp. And again, these, these guys just do a great job of using these horses in multiple ways that they get experience that just you wouldn't see from a lot of the average horse out there um i like the hip on this horse too i like how he's carrying his head he's just relaxed walking through right there um again kind of licking his lips good sign that he's relaxed and walking out uh just a good solid nice gelding um we're really excited about the mix in this sale. Uh, we say that every sale, but it just seems like they get better and better. 
Um, and I, I know I've really been excited about this mix of horses. There's a couple in here that have really excited me, and I've been looking forward to see where they end up. So we'll move on to hip number three. Hip number three is Cruz. He's brought to us by Adrian Madera out of Weezer, Idaho. Adrian does a lot of day work up there in the feed yards and on the ranches. Helps with a lot of the guys doctoring and, and working cattle as dragging calves to the fire. Um, I think we've actually got some video of that in this video later on. Um, Cruz is a 2012 model grade gelding. Uh, so he's nine years old, again, right in the middle of the prime of his life, early part of his prime of his life. Um, he's been used in big outfits, been rode out in the desert and steep country. He can follow a trail, water, and walk all over large obstacles. He's been ridden by many different levels of riders, and he's drug hundreds of calves to the fire. Again, we've got some video of that back there. Um, Adrian does a good job with these horses. He gets them up there and uses them. Um, and just they see a lot of wet saddle blankets, which is what makes good horses. Adrian is also in our catalog listed. Uh, you see the AM transport. Adrian does transport horses throughout the western U.S. So if you're looking for transportation on this horse or any horse to wherever you're at and you're in the western half of the country, uh, reach out to Adrian. Uh, there's an ad in the catalog and he can get your rate on what he might haul the horse for um, and when he can fit that in. Um, Watching this horse, you know, again, there's some video towards the end. Doctoring the cattle, I like how he, if you go and watch to the end of that cattle, I to that video where he's working the cows and dragging calves. I don't know if we're going to get to there in the three minutes, but I really liked how calm this horse took the commotion um, and dragging calves in those big operations. I like how he lopes the circle here, carrying his head, picking up his lead. Um, just another good, solid, all-around type of gelding that's going to go out and do a job for you. Has seen some miles, been on the ranch, been out on the trails. Just a good, nice, solid gelding right here. You see Adrian work with his feet and pick him up. Um, again, you know, we've we've had, Adrian's been coming to our cells off and on for three or four years now, and I think that We've had several people buy his horses that have called back up and looking for another one. So, you know, you can't go wrong. These horses get some good miles on them, some good experience. Just a good, nice, solid gelding right here. See him working with his feet. Stands good for him to mount and get on. And then walks right out. I like how he's carrying his ears. Level-headed, keeping his head down. He's not high-headed. Just walking out nice and calm. Um, you know, a lot of times, some of the things that I look for is these guys go out and lope these circles and then do what Adrian just did, get off, walk around him, get back on and walk off. You can see that even though he's loping circles before, that horse settled right back down and paying attention to him and doing what he's asked. He's not hot. Um, just riding out good. You can see him here working this alley with these cattle, paying attention to both the rider and the cattle. Just, again, a nice, good, solid gelding. He's buckskin to go with that. There's a, people are always wanting the buckskins. Um, you know, we always say the best color is broke, but it doesn't hurt to have a little bit of flash to go with it. Moving on to hip number four. This is Drew. He's brought to us by Six Shooter Livestock. They're out of Blackfoot, Idaho. Six Shooter's got Five spots in the cell, but six horses. Um, one of their entries is later in the cell is a pair of brothers. Uh, we'll talk about them when we get to them. This is Drew. He's a 15-hand, 2013, grade gelding. Uh, they say he's well-educated. He stands about 15 hands, has a real nice handle on him with good brakes and a solid stop. He said They say you can get on and off him from either side. They have covered many miles out in open country on him and he should work for just about anybody you can see him here going into the water this is another one i was watching this video earlier in the day i really like how this horse is put together big solid hip on him big front shoulder um he's got just a good solid confirmation um i noticed in the video that when i was watching earlier today he's got four solid black feet um i always like to see that myself um good head i just i like the way this horse is put together um, how he carries himself. 
in the different situations. If you're not familiar with Six Shooter, if you watch through their videos, you're going to see a little bit of everything. They put these horses in all kinds of different situations, expose them to everything from train tracks to fires to dinosaur costumes to water. They're going to see it when Six Shooter's got them. Um, they do a great job of desensitizing these horses, and this is going to be no exception. Um, they also do a lot of team sorting. Um, if they've had a horse for very long, they've probably used it to go out and sort. They enjoy doing that, and so their horses get to go do it with them. Um, again, I just I like how this horse carries his head, walking around, paying attention to where he's putting his feet um, and riding out. I really like how he's put together. Um, I, I like these big bone solid horses how they handle um, you can see him lope out through here um, in some rough country he's taking care of where his feet go carrying his head right just a good nice solid good gelding and another one that's he's just eight years old um, got a whole ton of life ahead of him but he's got enough miles under his belt uh, to to know what he's doing and where he's going and again if if he's been at six shooter with six shooter you know he's going to be exposed to pretty much anything they can dream up. <clears throat> you know, another thing I, I'm noticing on this horse, you know, they're riding him here in a hackamore and how he's carrying his head. That, to me, is just a sign of a finished, finished horse with a great handle. You know that he's paying attention to you and, and probably going to be soft in how you handle him. Um, that to me is always a good sign when a horse handles like that in a hackamore is they're finished and they got a handle but here you can see too he's carrying a bit so you know you can ride him looks like either way um, and just a good solid all around really solid built horse we'll move on here to hip number five again we want to really reiterate if you haven't talk to these consigners and you're looking at one of these horses please take the time to give them a call ask them some questions make sure you're familiar with the horse um, hip number five this is one that i'm excited to see where he ends up and where he goes um, you know we see a lot of people looking for ponies um, and especially this size that they're they're small enough that a youth can go and be confident and have and handle them but they're big enough to do the job of a horse and carry an adult they're hard to find, especially with the experience that this horse has got. He's 13 two hands. He's a 2010 model, so he's 11 years old. Um, brought to us by Justin Johns out of Colorado. Um, I believe they've had this horse up there for five years on the ranch with their boy riding him. You'll see in this video they do everything from breakaway rope on him to dragging calves to the fire to moving cattle out on the, the mountain. Um, you, I can guarantee you in five years on that ranch, this this horse, little horse has seen more miles than most horses will see their entire life. Um, he's just That's, to me, a lot of what makes a good horse is when they get used like this. Um, if you're looking for something for your youth to go do little britches or little buckaroo or even high school rodeo for breakaway, um, you can see here they've got him going on that. You can go use him on the ranch. You can take him out hunting. Um, they say that even though he's 13 two hands, he can do the job of a 16 two-hand horse um, their 11 year old son and his younger brother has been riding him for the last five years so he would have started riding him when he was six um, he hauls bathes shoes the best and has been sound every day they've owned him with no blemishes or scars um, again we want to remind everybody there's the pre-purchase exams up in the pictures that you can go review um, they say this is a dirty tough and stronger at the horn than most horses twice his size um, you can see him out here tagging calves on the pasture with him um, they've roped many yearlings, several cows, and a couple of two-year-old bulls with this little horse. And he's drug hundreds of calves to the fire. They've hauled him to junior rodeos. They've used him in breakaway and healing. Um, seeing hill on him too. They say you can head steers on him and run barrels. So if you're looking for a good all-around little britches horse, here he is right here in front of you. Um, he's extremely sure-footed in rough country. can really cover some, some ground. Uh, again, I just I cannot stress enough how hard these kind of horses are to find. Um, we we went looking for one earlier this year uh, for our seven-year-old daughter, and we went halfway across the country to find one. Um, it's just so hard to find these ponies that have been used and are broke kind of like a horse and have the size that can carry an adult but 
can give your youth some confidence. This is just a gem right here, and you're going to wear out a vehicle driving around the country trying to find it. Um, so if you're looking for a, a, a good youth step-up horse, um, well-rounded family horse, this is one that you are not going to find again anytime soon. Um, and you ought to be paying attention. I just really like how this little horse handles. I like his size. I like the experience that he's got. It's so hard to find that kind of experience. Um, people really ought to be paying attention here. That's a, that's a really hard kind of horse to find. Um, moving on to hip number six. This is Doc. He's brought to us by Tim Cobb up in Weezer, Idaho. Um, came from the same ranch as the Cobb family. It's uh, the father of um, Matt with the Cobb family, um, but on, used on the same ranch. This is a 2008 model gelding, uh, so he's 13. He's 15 hands. He, they say he's a ranch horse deluxe. He's safe enough to pack little buckaroos, but fancy broke to make older cowboys look good. Uh, he's great to brand and sword on doctor on. Um, they say he'll stay broke no matter how long he's laid off. He's super easy to catch and likes attention. Um, when we were up there visiting a week ago, um, I saw this horse um, out there. It was right close to the shed and walked up and took a look at him. Um, just a good, nice, solid, well put together. You could see just kind of had a kind, gentle eye. Um, a good, nice, solid, all-around kind of a gelding that's going to have tons of experience on the ranch up there. Uh, again, we talked about they they use these horses all over the ranch in those hills uh, it's about twenty thousand acres you can see him here dragging the sled just handling it like he does it every day i know talking with tim that this is just a good solid horse that they've really liked and enjoyed up there um, they used him to gather last week um, up there, they gathered 850 head, rode him all day on Saturday. Um, so he knows what a, a full day's work is, um, knows how to get the job done. You see him there working off his feet, work the gate, side passing right here, paying attention to the to that boy riding him. Just a good, solid, well-rounded gelding right here that's been used all over the ranch. There he side passes the other way. We're going to see him here go into the water again and ride around in the canal. This is just a good, solid. He's done color. He's... Well put together. This is one when I got up and saw him, I thought he looked a lot better in person than some of the pictures. And in this video, you can see that. Um, you know, they took the pictures on this horse, I think, early in the, earlier in the spring, and he still had a little bit of hair up or, or, you know, early summer. But just a good, nice, solid, well-rounded horse. I liked the hip on him when I was up there. I kind of like his head and that throat latch stands out right there. Um... And again, the, the Dunn color is going to get you a little bit of flash to go with it. Just a good, another solid, nice gelding um, in the middle of the prime of his life. See him picking up his lead there. Carrying out just, again, a good, nice, solid gelding. Now, we're using the first three minutes of these videos to talk about them a little bit. Um, keep in mind, a lot of these videos go further um, or much longer than the first three minutes that we're using so if you haven't watched them yet uh, take a chance to come back in here and watch all the way through um, some of these videos are 10 12 minutes long and you see a lot more than what we're going to show you tonight but um, for time's sake we're just using the first three minutes to be able to talk about them a little bit so this is hip number seven brought to us by jane giles jc performance horses uh, he is smoking conchos they call him texaco He's a 2008 APHA gelding. He's 15 two hands tall. Um, I know talking with Jane, she's really, really, really like this horse. She say she says he's built like a draft cross, but he's he is registered with the APHA. Um, so he is a, a, a paint horse. He just has a lot of bone and and good size to him. Um, his personality is was, has a gentle disposition and will shine bright and has beautiful black coat. Um, he's super smooth, crosses water, not bothered by wildlife dogs or the occasional rat Arizona rattlesnake. Um, if you're not familiar with Jane and JC, she lives down there in Congress, Arizona, which is where this horse is located. Um, she does a ton of riding out in the, those desert trails and 
puts a lot of miles on these horses out through that, so they're going to see a lot of that. Um, she also gets them in the arena and, and uses them and makes sure they have a good, solid foundation on them. Um, she likes to fine-tune some of the basics um, on her horses and, and always is going to put out a really nice horse. You can see her here working the gate on this horse. He's going to work off his feet. They've also, Jane's son lives up in Idaho, and um, between the two of them, they, they use these horses back and forth. Uh, she mentions in the catalog that, that this horse has been up on the ranch in Idaho too, has done um, a lot of the ranch work um, as well as the trails and the out in the arena. She says he's got really good ground manners. Uh, he'll meet you at the gate. They've used him in a remote cattle operation up there in Idaho. You can rope, drag, doctor, gather, drag calves to the fire all day long. He knows the drill and won't run out of horsepower. So, again, just another really good, solid, nice gelding. We're always excited to see what Jane brings. Um, you can see a lot of everything here. You can see she's riding him up the road besides the trails, exposed him. Again, I like how this horse is put together. Just a big, nice front, solid front shoulder. Nice, solid hip on his back. I like how he's carrying his head right there and just riding out. Um, I like how Jane works with these horses. Um, she's another one that we've had a lot of people that have got one of her horses and come back in a future sale looking for another one of her horses specifically. Um, just a good, nice, solid gelding, and we're always excited to see what Jane brings us. Okay, we're going to move on to hip number eight. Hip number eight is Clayton Superman. He's brought to us by Cheryl Lott up in Lewiston, Idaho. So just a little further north than our consigners in Weezer. Uh, he's a 2016 AQHA gelding. He's 14 three hands. He is by Clayton's Blue Avenger, by Clayton's Tar Baby, by Romeo Blue. Also Clayton's Lucky Joe on the top. On the bottom, he's out of She's Peppy Patty Joe, by L. Joe Key, by El Grajo. And then you have little Peppy Conger on the bottom there as well. Um, so he's six years old, registered AQHA. Um, he hauls loads and shoes like a dream. He'll ride out alone or in a group, works well with other horses. Uh, they've used him as a trail horse most of the time they've had him. Um, he does great in the mountains. Uh, they've also used him to brand cows, or he was used to brand cows uh, prior to them buying him. Um, he's very quiet, and can get going, but he can get going when you ask. Um, they've tried to keep him quiet for their grandkids to ride. Um, she does recommend that a more advanced rider possibly uh, I know that I've talked to a couple people who have gone and seen this horse before the sale and ridden him and just really liked him um, and how he handled. Um, both of them got back to me and told me how much they enjoyed seeing the horse and liked him. So, you know, it's just a good, solid, nice. He's blue roan, which is one of the most popular colors. Again, I'll say that uh, the best color is broke, but it doesn't hurt to have a little chrome to go with it. So um, he's just kind of the right size, too. Um, you know, I... I grew up liking the big horses, but I'm more and more liking these horses right here in that 14-2 to 15 one hand range. Um, I like getting on and off them a little bit better in my older age. But this is just a good, nice, solid, well put together. I like his hip, um, like his head. Uh, just a good, nice, solid gelding. Um, he's fancy colored. He's registered. Um, he's just entering the prime of his life, but he's got some good experience behind him. Um, this is just one I'm excited to see where he ends up. We were excited to get this horse in the cell. Um, he is current on his shots, worming, and teeth floating, by the way. And again, we'll remind you that um, we have the pre-purchases posted in the pictures on all these horses. Uh, but this is just a good, another good, solid uh, gelding that is going to make somebody a great horse and got years and years ahead. Um, I think if I remember right in this video, you're going to see she's going to step up on him with this halter and lead rope and ride him around a little bit. Yep. Um, you know, so he'll carry a bit and ride, but if you get in a hurry, you can just throw the lead rope over and see he can ride out like that. Um, that goes a long ways to talk to their disposition. 
um, that you know you can get on and handle them that way. Just a good, solid gelding. I know talking to Cheryl too, she's told me over and over again, this is probably the best horse they have on their place. Um, she just has other horses that she's had longer and has goes out and uses and so she doesn't want him to sit and go to waste but she's told me three or four times now that this is probably the best horse on their place right there uh, that they've got offered um, and we're excited to have him and he's going to make somebody uh, just a really nice horse <clears throat> moving on to hip number nine this is smoking joe hall he's brought to us by Carl and Chelsea Ackerman um, over in Minotaur, Nebraska. Um, it's over kind of on the Nebraska-Colorado line. Um, Smoking Joe Hall is a 2005 AQHA gelding. Um, he's 16 hands. They use him. They've been using him out there on. Oh, sorry. I'm running too many computers here. I'm trying to get the papers up so I can give you a pedigree. They've been using him um, out on the feedlot up there. Uh, Carl and Chelsea work on a large feedlot. Um, they've been riding pens on this horse, um, using him out there to doctor. I think they've also used him um, in a few ranch rodeos recently. Uh, guys, papers up here. He is Smoking Joe Hall by the Great Smart Aristocrat, by Smart Little Lena, by Doc Alina. And Peppy Sandbadger, all on the top of his papers. Uh, on the bottom, he's by Doc Smoking, out of Doc Smoking Holly, by Holodoc, by Doc's Quitzoti, and Mr. Gunsmoke. So on this horse's papers, you've got Smart Aristocrat, Smart Little Lena, Doc Lena, Peppy Sandbadger, Doc's, Doc Quixote, and Mr. Gunsmoke, all on his papers. Uh, there's also a mare up here, Smart Peppy, uh, on the top end of his papers. Uh, great foundation mare there. So really well bred. He's 2005 model, so he's going to have a lot of experience. Um, again, uh, Carl and Chelsea use these horses up there in that feedlot, um, riding pens. He's going to work a bunch of gates, um, doctored cattle, drove cows to the fire, shipped cattle, you name it. They're going to have used this horse up there this year for it. Um, he's seen everything from the feed yard to your average everyday trail yard. Uh, they say he's an in-your-pocket type of gelding and always willing to please. He's the real deal and suitable for about any stock, any type of rider. Uh, he shoes with ease, bays, backs out of a trailer, hauls. Um, they say they just can't speak higher of him. Again, I'm pretty sure that Carl's been using this horse in some ranch rodeos recently. I know the other horse he has. You can see him here working the fence. Um, the, somebody's worked with him probably on some cutting, um, how he's spinning there and working off of his feet. Uh, I like how he's put together. He's got another, another one with a big solid hip, nice, good, solid front shoulder. Um, he has got some size to him. He's 16 hands. Um, he's going to have the experience of working those pens up there, uh, working the gate, working off some feet. Uh, you can see him pick up his lead right here. Uh, just a good, nice, solid gelding um, that's going to have some power if you need it. You can see him tuck his head there and spin back um, on that rollback. Just you can see he's got some foundation to him to work off his feet, tucking his head, listening, you know, paying attention to the rider and how he's carrying the beat, the, the bit. And I guarantee he's worked 100 gates a day up there uh, in that feedlot. So just a good, nice, solid, well put together gelding um, that's going to make somebody a really nice horse. Moving on to hip number 10. This might be one of my favorites. Um, of all time in one of our cells. Um, I just, I don't know if I can say enough here in the type of horse that this horse is um, and the type of experience that you're going to have. Hip number 10 is Walla Walla Top Gun. He's registered APHA. He's a 2015 model. Um, note that we do have, it looks like we have a typo. He should be APHA, obviously. Um, but he is registered. He is an own son of Walla Walla Wiz. Um, he's a one-of-a-kind kind of a horse. He's six years old. He's finished in the rating panner, pattern. He was proven in the show pen where he was the 2019 IRHA Green Horse Open Reserve Champion. Um, he's 
beyond his success in reigning, been used all over the ranch and out on the mountain. They've roped off of him. They've pushed cows a million times and a million times and a million miles. He'll go anywhere and do anything. He was used in a Nikon commercial. Uh, there's that. It's we have the footage up there if you want to watch. Uh, he was exposed to about every kind of environment in that commercial. If you watch through it, it's not just your average 30-second commercial. They did quite a bit of filming in that commercial, and he truly got exposed to a little bit of everything. And you can watch that video and kind of see just experience most horses won't get. You can see here they've used him to pack. Um, they've even packed 50-gallon drums on him. Um, he's packed elk we saw earlier. And he's packed deer, drug deer. They've had kids riding him. Um, he's got an awesome slide stop. He'll mid spin a million miles an hour in circles. He'll do the flying lead changes. Um, he will also pack about anything. Now, I want to point a couple things out in some of this video. Um, we've got some video of an entire, um, in one of the videos of an entire show pattern um, when he was being shown in raining. Uh, it's in the one that's in the outdoor arena, and I, I, I think it's the one in the outdoor arena. Maybe it was this one, but I know Jake told me that that was the first time that horse was shown. Um, so you can get a, a good feel for there. You can see him here. Just He's finished, finished in the raining pan. If you're looking for a horse you can go out and compete on in the raining pan, here you've got the horse that was number two in IRHA in 2019. He's ready to go. He's ready to show. Um, he's also got all the experience outside. If you're looking for a well-rounded horses, I don't know that you can find one that's six years old that's going to have more experience than this. You saw the boy riding him here a minute ago. Speaks to his disposition. You could see how well he worked off of just that boy's feet spinning. Um, again, if you're looking for something to go out and show in raining, go out and show in raining cow horse, but you can go out and use on the ranch, go out and use him hunting, um, take him in parades. You're not going to find another horse with this kind of experience at six years old. Um, he's got a pedigree uh, to go with it. He's just, you know, just a really solid, well-used horse. Um, you know, Jake Stevens has been training and showing horses for years. Um, I've ridden horses that Jake started and trained that just, you, you know, almost the minute you get on them that he trained them um, just because the foundation he puts on, they're just fun to ride. Um, they have a great handle on him. Uh, besides Jake training this horse and showing him, he's the one that's also been using him out there on the ranch. Um, it's just a good, solid, solid horse. Um, and, you know, I'm, I'm just going to throw out, if you went and bought a two-year-old and went and hired Jake to train him and show him with what he did on this horse, you would be $30,000 just in the training bill and the showing bill. Um, and here he is finished out. You got all the training. You've got all the additional experience. Um, you're just not going to find another horse like that anytime soon. We're way excited to have this horse in our cell and we can't see, can't wait to see where he goes to. Moving on to hip number 11. It's another one brought to us by Cobb Family Horses and Mules. This is Dancing Nitro. He's a 2015 AQHA gelding. He's 15 hands. He's the perfect combination of function and fun. They've, they've gathered and branded calves on him. I just got his papers up here. I'm going to read through there. He is by Extra Heavy Duty Nitro, by Nitro Dual Dock, by Pepto Boozmall on the top. Um, also, Lena's Country Duty on the top. On the bottom, he's out of Dancing Doolin. Dancing and Doolin by Jeweled Doolin Pistol, Pistol by Doolin Gun, and also Jaguar's Dock on the bottom. So he goes back to the great Pepto Boozmo on the top. He's going to go back to um, Dock Bar somewhere there on the bottom. Uh, good, solid pedigree. He is just six years old. Another one that's got uh, just the beginning of his prime, but he's got a lot of miles behind him. I know talking with Matt last week, they used this horse gathering, um, and Matt told me over and over that this was the funnest horse for him to ride um, out of this bunch. He really enjoyed riding him. His daughter um, has been riding him for the last three or four weeks and doesn't want to give him up because he's, they've enjoyed so much riding him. Um, whether you're taking him on a leisurely trail ride or out on the ranch, he's, he's been there and done that. Uh, they gathered on him last week. They branded on him this spring. He's been used in the arena. Um, they've started him on the heel end and breakaway. Uh, he's also been started around the barrels and the pull patterns. 
Um, again, uh, talking with Matt, he told me over and over again that uh, he just really loved riding this horse. His daughter did too, that he was fun to ride. Um, and just one of those horses entering his prime that's just got the disposition and the mentality that he's just great to ride and got his whole life ahead of him. And again, he's got a good solid pedigree to go with it. I like how he's carrying his head here um, and loping the circles. Um, they've got him started on the, the roping and coming out of the box. The barrels are patterned. Um, so you can take this horse, go finish him out for high school or college rodeo or go to the jackpots on him. Um, take him, use him on the ranch. Take him out and use him on the trails. He's got his whole life ahead of him. He's got kind of some cool color to him with that red roan. He's just good, nice, solid seam work in the gate here. And again, when you know, I usually pay attention when, when consigners start telling me that it's the horse that they like to ride. Um, I usually start paying attention to those horses. You can see him here, um, healing on him. Just a good, solid, young gelding that's ready to go out and finish out and take you where you want to go. Moving on to hip number 12. Here's another thing we don't see a ton um, in our sales of, but we're excited to see this one. Um, we see a fair amount of good young barrel prospects, but we very seldomly see a finished one. Um, and here's one right here in front of you. Uh, this horse is brought to us by Sydney Cog Cobb up there in Weezer, Idaho. Um, she high school rodeoed and college rodeoed on this horse. Uh, she is moving on from the college rodeo, she doesn't want to see the horse sit and go to waste, so she's decided to put him up for sale. He's a 2006 model. His registered AQHA, his register name is Cajun's Dreamy Isle. He's by Cimarron Isle, by Isle Breeze, by Top Breeze. Also Twiddle D Dumb on the top. On the bottom, out of Cajun's May Gold Bar, by MRPD McHugh Bars, by Pals Dynamo, and also gold dust filled on the bottom. You can see here, um, you know, one of the other things that they told me about this horse besides around the barrels that he's really, truly finished in the poles. So if you're looking for something for high school rodeo um, to take out and be competitive on, there's one that's been hauled, been used. He'll make it competitive. You can see the temperament here with a uh, little dally cob leading him around there, standing up on him. Um, he's got the miles, but he's still got a lot of life ahead of him. Um, he places consistently in 1D one, one and 2D. Uh, they say he's never knocked down a barrel. He started on the breakaway dummy, but I don't think they've roped a ton on him. Um, they have also done goat tying off of him. Um, they say he's gentle as he comes. He was used the previous summer for riding lessons um, when Sydney was teaching riding lessons last year. Um, he's great to shoe, bathe, load, haul, and tie. An easy keeper and gets along with the other horses. Again, the only reason she's getting rid of him is she's done with high school, with college rodeo and too busy to, to move on to other rodeos. And so she's going to let him go to somebody that can use him rather than let him sit. And so here's just a good, solid um, finished barrel horse. And again, you just don't come across these very often that are plug and play, especially at the going to make you competitive in 1D, 2D or high school level rodeo and college rodeo. Um, here's one that's still got several years ahead of him. I'm going to make somebody a plug-and-play barrel-type horse. Um, but I, I guarantee you that horse has also been out and ridden around on the ranch and seen some miles outside the arena as well. Um, and again, I just can't say enough, we don't see these very often. And if you're looking for one, you better snatch them up when you get them because you just don't come across these very often. Um, and here's one in this cell. Uh, we're excited to see where he ends up. We're excited to have him. Um, and he's going to make somebody a, a plug-and-play, ready-to-go, barrel-type horse. You know, the other thing I noticed watching in some of the videos earlier, he handles the alley well, um, doesn't get hot or out of control. She can get in and out of the arena good on him. Um, just a good, nice, solid gelding that somebody's going to be able to take and go, go put to use right away and probably win some money back on him in the jackpots. Speaking of barrel horses, we will move on to hip number 13, and here's a good prospect. Hip number 13 is Buck Up Buttercup. This is a 2019 AQHA mare. She is by Technicolors. 
Technicolors is an own son of Frenchman's Guy, and he's the only triple A rated on the Spina Index son of Frenchman's Guy. Uh, Frenchman's Guy, obviously, by Sunfrost. Also, hot colors on the top. On the bottom, out of Dying for a Million by AP Million by AP Indy, and then Mount Livermore on the bottom. Uh, Technicolors is one of the studs that Greg and Katie Torgerson have in their breeding program. This is an own daughter from him. I know they've been really excited about him and, and some of these up-and-coming offspring of him. You can see here, you know, I'm going to point out this is a two-year-old mare, and that's a 13-year-old girl sitting on him, uh, on the mare. Um, this is just a, goes to show the disposition. Um, I know for a lot of the Frenchman guy bred horses that we've been around show this kind of disposition. I saw this horse a couple weeks ago, and I couldn't believe that it was a two-year-old. She's just put together and filled out nicely. Um, she's going to be a heck of a horse. Uh, again, she's by Technicolors, who, by the way, is a Ruby Buckle-eligible buckle stallion. So this mare right here is Ruby Buckle-eligible. She's also eligible for Future Fortunes and VGBRA. Um, so if you're looking for the big futurities, you got eligibility into pink into Ruby Buckle, Future Fortunes, VGBRA right here. Um, you can go out, do the futurities on them. Um, get her known and bring her back, put her in your brewing program. Um, she's built. She's from an own son of Frenchman's guy that is, again, the only AAA rated son of Frenchman's guy. Um, and just, you can see here, you know, again, I'm going to point out it's a two-year-old mare being ridden by a 13-year-old girl. Now, that's a girl that rides every day. But still, it's this is a good solid. I like how she's tucking her head there. Um, I don't know for sure how many rides they've got on her. Um, I'm also going to put out that uh, the, the dam on this horse, the Dying for a Millions, is a great producer and is also a money earner herself and been a winner. So, uh, you know, if you're looking for a prospect to take to the Futurities a couple years out, um, here it is right here in front of you. Um, you can bring it back 10 years later and start getting some foals out of her. She's got the pedigree. She's got the eligibility into some of the big Futurities. She's got the color. She's got the disposition. Um here's you know this isn't the finished barrel horse but this is sure one that if you're going to want to go hit the big futurities she's going to be eligible for you um and you've got an opportunity to go have a really nice horse to go run barrels on and be in the futurities and again come back and add to a breeding program down the road and probably get your money back out of the first full she has in 10 years so you know you can go win the money and come back and get some money out of the fulls just a good, solid, all-around program. Out of a good program, um, you can see the PCR brand there. That's Greg and Katie's brand. Um, they've got a great program for some producing some great um, futurity-eligible offspring um, that's going to get you out into those futurities you want to get to. So moving on to hip number 14. This is another one from Six Shooter Livestock. This is Stuart. Stewart is a 2016 great gelding. Has a nice handle on him. He isn't afraid of an all-day trail ride. He's been started on roping by his prior owners. Uh, gathered a lot of cattle out in the open. He's gentle, sweet, and pretty. Stewart has the talent and potential to go in any direction. Um, as we watch this video, I don't know how deep it is into it, but they mentioned he's been started on roping. They got some video of him roping out of the box. If I remember right, it's on the head side. You can see here again, coming across the bridge. Um, you know, one thing I really like about this horse, especially as a Palomino, he's got the, all, the four black feet, it looks like. Um, he got a good, nice, solid hip. Um, when I watched the video before and was watching him roping, he handled the box well, came out, was rating the steers good. Um, he's pretty, he's got the Palomino color. Again, when it comes from six shooter, you can guarantee he's gonna be been exposed to just about everything. Um, he's 15 hands, just a good, solid size. He's only five years old he's got his whole life ahead of him um, if you're looking for a horse to go finish out in the rope pen ranch on take him out on the trails just a good solid all-around horse that's ready to go out and do what you want him to do Again, I can't reiterate enough with Six Shooter. You're, these horses are going to see a little bit of everything. 
um, from inside, outside, in the arena, out of the arena, on the trails, in the water. Um, I'm sure if you've watched their videos, you've seen there'll, there'll be a dinosaur costume somewhere. Looks like they've got him going a little bit around the perils as well. Um, they've probably sorted on him. Again, I know there's video back here of him roping out of the box on the head side. I don't know if we're going to get to it in the first three minutes. Um, but just a good solid all-around gelding that you can go finish out and take it about any direction. Um, and is going to make somebody a really nice horse and he's got his whole life ahead of him. They also say that he's gentle and sweet. Um, and they, you know, if he wasn't that way when they got it, they probably got him that way. But I, he was probably that way when he got it. But, you know, there's we talk all the time with people about athleticism and pedigrees. And my wife and I were having this conversation earlier today. You just, you can get the pedigree and you get the athleticism, but that doesn't always come with the disposition. Um, so, you know, 90% of the people out there using a horse the disposition is probably the most important part. It supersedes color, athleticism, and pedigree. So when, when you see this and you see the good disposition, um, that's what we always look for to see first. And then the other things are just add-ons. So here's another good, solid, nice gelding. Um, and you know coming from Six Shooter that he's been exposed to about everything um, and going to be good, just good, solid, all-around, ready-to-use horse. Moving on to hip number 15. Now there's two videos here. If you want to go back and watch the other one, um, we're going to start with this one. But uh, again, a lot of these videos go longer. Make sure you go pay attention to all of the video and see them. Make sure you call and talk to these consigners. Take the opportunity to ask specific questions um, and really get an idea what the horse is before you start bidding. Um, and, and if there's multiple videos, take the time to watch them and, and really understand what they can do. The consigners put a lot of effort into trying to showcase these horses the best they can, and we hope that the buyers take care take advantage of that. So this is RS Drifting Tough and Time, Tough Time. He's a 2017 AQHA gelding. He is by RS Pop and Driftwood, by DBA Maxi Driftwood, by Willie Wood. Also Pop and Pepinita on the top, on the bottom, out of R.S. Willie's Nurse by Willie Wood by Orphan Drift, also one time pep, tough time Peppy on the bottom. Kathy is also down there in the Congress Arizona area, um, and rides a lot of those desert trails. She also likes to show. Um, we see her all the time posting some posts that shows. Um, you can see her here working him in the arena. Look at how this horse carries his head. Uh, they say that he's ranch bred. They've used, he's been used as a rope horse in the past. Um, he'll go anywhere you point him. He's been ridden on many steep mountain trails, streams, sandy desert, along the road, or in big groups. He's smooth gated with a walk trot. He side passes, takes both leads, and will open and close gates. Clips, ties, hobbles, bathes, trailers, stands great for the farrier. Bridles and saddles easily. Um, up to date on all of his vaccines and dental work. And safe enough for an intermediate rider but we'll step up for a more advanced rider. Um, Kathy's consigned in our sales in the past and another one that, that sold a horse that we've had people call back and look for more horses from her. Um, see here, she's working the slicker. Um, I like the build on this gelding. I like the hip again. Um, just the way he's put together. Good, solid. He's 14, so he's got a lot of miles behind him, but he's got a life, lot of life ahead of him. Um, just a good, solid, all-around, good-looking gelding. And again, I you know I know Kathy likes to show in some of the raining and rain cow horse, um, so I know she's worked him in the arena, but they also spend countless hours out riding these trails in Arizona. Um, in fact, they her and Jane called me the other day and told me that they'd been up at 4 o'clock in the morning out riding on the trails to beat the heat. So... Um, just good, nice, solid, well put together. Look at his front shoulder there. Just a really nice, good, solid, registered gelding. Uh, it's going to make someone a nice horse. You see him here going through the trail course, walking over the logs. Sign him with the slicker. Um, again, he just he's going she's going to drag the log here. It looks like you just you can't say enough when you find the disposition on these horses. 
Um, you know, I, I tell people on a regular basis that's really the first place you need to start looking is at the disposition. Okay, moving on to hip number 16. This is our first horse from J. Arrow Livestock. It is Mr. Butterworth. Buttersworth. Sorry. He's a 2012 grade gelding. Uh, J. Arrow Livestock's also up there in Weezer, Idaho. Uh, and on on the ranches up there, gets they, these horses see a lot of miles on those ranches up there. Um, J. Arrow also does a lot with performance horses, um, barrel horses, roping horses, rain horses, cut, rain cow horses. Uh, they work a lot with these horses. They spend the summers up there working the ranches. They spend the winters down in Arizona um, riding these horses roping and doing different things you can see here this horse used for doctrine and brandon um, this spring they say he's been ridden in various trains from desert to the snow he's done lots of different jobs he's a dream trail horse that will go all day take take it as serious or as pleasure as you want him he's fun to rope on outside and doctor and brand on uh, he's an easy keeper year round He's gentle to be around, easy to catch, nice to saddle and haul. Uh, he stands great for the farrier. I would make a dream family type horse. Um, this is another one with J. Arrow. I'm always excited to see what they're going to send. Um, I'd really like, I mean, if you're looking for standout, going to get you noticed pretty, here's one of those types of horses right here. You can see him dragging the log. See how he's carrying his head. Just well-mannered, easy going. Um, good solid nice gelding and he's going to get you noticed on top of that with some flash um I, you know it, it's always fun to see what these horses what these guys bring into our cells and the horses they've got and it, again i said it earlier i just every cell is we're more and more impressed with the bunch of horses that we get and this is no exception um this is going to make just a great horse for somebody um, I really like how he's put together. I like his size. I like the hip on him. I like how he carries his head here. He's picking up his leads. Um, and just a good, solid, all-around, another good, solid, all-around gelding that's going to make somebody a great horse. And, again, we we always say the best color's broke, but without fail, we've got always got people looking for buckskins. Well, here it is right here. We've got, I think, three in this cell and then a couple of duns to go with it. But, Here's one that's got the miles, been used on the ranch, got the trail, got the disposition. Um, you know, he's 12 years old, got his whole life ahead of him. And, you know, you can see here working the cattle. He's just, he's got the experience and ready to go do whatever you need him to do. Okay, moving on to hip number 17. I want to note, especially as we load this video, this horse was in our May cell. Um, would have been hip 31 in that cell. Uh, he got cut a couple of weeks before the sale. It wasn't a serious cut, uh, but Kevin decided to pull him out and let him heal up before he sold him. Um, so he held him out, got the cut completely healed up, um, and put him back into this cell. So that's the reason why the video lists the wrong hip number. Uh, they just used the same video that they had back in May. Um, he is a 2009 model grade gelding. They say he's a ranch horse deluxe. Born and raised on a ranch in Montana. Uh, performed every aspect of ranch work there. Uh, there's not any kind of country this horse hasn't been exposed to. He's big boned, confident, very sure footed. You can see him right out into the water here and riding through the trees in some of this video. Um, he's safe for kids to be around and handle, but not a beginner's horse, they say. Uh, so keep that in mind. He is traffic dog, motorcycle, bridge, tunnel, water rocks, rope, cows, guns, flags, and tarp safe. Uh, he has no spook. is excellent with young horses. Um, they had him in with, or actually, last year they sold a weanling 16 hours away, and they used Stormy to ride along with that weanling as a companion horse. Um, he likes to tend to, he, they say he tends to hang with their yearlings in the pasture. Kevin's got a breeding program down there in Arizona. Um, so he's been around all that. Um, just good, nice, solid, well put together gelding. Uh, again, he's been all over the ranch, used all over the ranch. Um, I, I also want to touch again, he, 
he got that cut before the May sale and was moved back to the sale. But you've got the current vet report on him that you can go read and look. Um, it's the same vet that treated him back in May. It's completely healed up. It was nothing that was going to affect him. Um, he just Kevin wanted to make sure it was completely healed and no issues uh, before he got him sold. So here's a good, solid, big, nice gelding. He's 12 years old, been used all over the country in Nevada as well as down there in Arizona. Um, he's solid. He's got a lot of life ahead of him. You can see here covering some rough country climbing how he handled the water uh just a good solid gelding here that's going to make somebody a good solid using horse you see him handle this rocky country up and down and picking his where he's putting his feet um you know if you're looking for a mountain horse that's always a critical aspect of having a horse that knows where to put his feet. Um, you can see him here in the arena. They're going to ride him around across the tarp. Um, different aspects there. Um, you know, again, this is a big, solid front shoulder on this horse. He's 15 two hands. He's got some size to him. You know, if you are looking for a ranch horse that can go out and hold a cow to doctor, um, or especially if you need to get a bull and doctor him, um, here's one that's got some size in the front shoulder to him to pull him and use him. Um, and has been used in the past. Um, just a good solid here. You can see him using the tarp all over him. So if you're looking for a good solid using gelding, there's another good one right there. Moving on to hip number 18. Here's another one of the highlights in the sale. Um, we're always excited to see what RMO brings us, especially in the draft cross or Frisian sport horse category. Um, this is no exception. Here's Quattro. He's hip number 18. He is a 2013 model Frisian Draft Cross gelding. He's 15 three hands. You can see in the video, he rides Western and English. Um, he's a big, handsome gelding that's seen it and done it all. He's just getting into the prime of his life. He rides well in the arena. He's been used outside on the trail. Uh, he was used for their Sleepy Hollow production last year, as well as chasing wagons or chasing wagon loads of people at night. They do a big production up there uh, for that Sleepy Hollow, and they do a headless horseman on the the horse that chases the wagon so he was used for that and and got a lot of experience there that most horses will never see he's broke he's good for most people to ride if you've ridden any of these guys you'll like him um they've you, they he used joe used him three years ago for his elk hunting horse um and he would go without quitting he'll go anywhere you ask he rides great in the arena lopes nice circles nice big trot smooth trot he stops and will move off your leg when asked. If you wanted one of these good-looking standout geldings, Quattro will get you noticed. Um, he's been ridden correct. He's well cared for. He does well in a stall or turned out with other horses. He's easy to shoe, haul, stands tied, and easy to clip, wash. Um, this is a good one. These are, again, I, you know, I talked earlier about some of these horses that are just hard to find. This is not a horse that's around every corner. It's... Not something you can just go out and find every day. Uh, these Frisian crosses are cool horses. Um, RMO works with them a lot. They know what they're doing with these horses, and they know a good one when they see it. So when they tell you that it's good, you can you can pretty much count that that's the case. Um, they're flashy. They're going to get you noticed. They're versatile. Um, for a big horse, they're real athletic. Uh, you can just use this horse in about any way. Um, you can see here how he's moving. Um, you saw him working in the English gear earlier. Uh, again, I just can't express enough. You can wear a car out looking for one of these horses, and you might not find it. Um, and we've been fortunate. This is the second one of the Frisians we've seen um, from RMO this year, and we're just really excited to have another one. Um, and again, these guys use these horses for some of their productions in the fall and the winter. Um, and so they use them a lot. They know what they're doing with them. They get them a lot of exposure to a lot of things that most horses will never see. Um, they're even going to pull the tube down the creek here with him. Um, so, you know, if you want a tube or water ski and have a little bit of speed to it, you can take him out and do that. Uh, just, I can't express enough again, uh, you know, some of these consigners, the exposure these horses get with them, um, you're never going to see in just your everyday horse somewhere else down the road. 
Um, and we're always excited to see what they bring, and this is definitely no exception. Moving on to hip number 19. This is another horse brought to us by Justin Johns over in Colorado. This is Nick's Little Cracker. They call her Cricket. It's a, she's a 2014 AQHA mare. Uh, she's 15 two hands. Um, they've roped off of her, um, used her on the ranch. She is by Colonel Doc Bar Nick, by Plain Dual Nick, by Just Plain Colonel. Also, Colonel's Doc Bar Checks on the top. On the bottom, out of Prairie B. Daisy by Travel and Own King by Moon Prairie. Also, Mr. Big Slip on the bottom. Uh, they say she's got a lot of shape and eye appeal. You can see that here in the video and the pictures. She's sound with no blemishes. She's good to tie, shoe, bathe, load, and haul. They've used her to doctor yearlings out on the mountain as well as in the pasture. Um, they've trailed pairs, dragged calves of the fire on her. They've tagged calves this spring. They've roped a lot, a lot of steers on her on the head side in the practice pen. Um, and she's turning into a really solid head horse uh, that is definitely jackpot ready. So if you're looking for something to go out and rope in the jackpots on the head side, here she is right here. She scores good. She's quiet in the box. She's not merry. She's the kind of mare that you want to have around. She, she cinches deep with good ground covering walk. Uh, and a horse that most anybody could ride. They say she's got absolutely no buck. Even with time off, she's always the same horse. Um, again, I, I can't reiterate enough on these, these ranch horses and stuff like that. The miles that these horses get on these ranches and, and the show pen, or in the the feed pens, um, you just you can't replicate that kind of miles. Um, you know, I was talking to one of these guys the other day that, you know, out on the ranch and we were talking about how somebody takes a horse in for somebody to, to train and they get 30 days on them and it's 30 days of one hour rides and these guys go out and get on a horse and ride and it's five or six hours in a day so it's just the kind of miles that you you can't get anywhere else um here's one that's been there done that she's only seven years old she's got her whole life ahead of her you go rope on her in the jackpots use her on the ranch um, if you want to down the road, you can get some babies out of her. She's well put together. She's got a nice pedigree. Just another really good, solid, nice horse that Justin's brought for us to have in her cell, and we're excited about both these horses. You can see there how she's holding that calf, standing, paying attention. Um, you can just tell she's been there, done that. We see her hair come out of the box. Again, you saw how she stood quiet, nice in the box, right in the steer, pulling her out. You know, it's a plug-and-play ready to go rope on, use on the ranch. Um, just, you're going to, again, we get people all the time looking for plug-and-play rope horses, but we don't see a lot of them offered up in the cell, and there's one right there. Here we, again, going to move on to just, you know, we've got so many unique options in this cell that we've never had or never seen and here's another one of those really unique options uh, this is kenworth and peterbilt brought to us by six-year livestock now this is a matched pair of brothers they're a gypsy cross team they have been used together and they've been used separately um kenworth is 10 years old and 15 hands peterbilt is 11 years old and 15 one hands they are full brothers they both weigh in around 1500 pounds they're gentle um, they're broke to ride pack and drive uh, they've been on overnight trips in the mountains leading a mule string covering countless miles um, they've had education stain they've got the education stains to prove it um, these guys are smart gentle willing to please a true pleasure to be around they're stout enough you can't hurt them um, but small enough that you can fit them in your trailer or wherever you need them to go um, the wildlife cattle traffic they've seen it all they don't get bothered um, if you're looking for a horse for him and her and you want to be a match set here you go if you're into local fair shows and they have um, pairs pleasure you can't get matched up much better than that 
or if you just want to pray it or just want to ride out together and be matched up, you can match these up better than any other pair you're going to go find. Um, we want to emphasize, I've talked with Larry quite a bit about this horse. I know they've had a couple questions about the fact that they're brothers and they've been used as a team and together. He wanted to really stress that you can take these horses out and separate them. They've been stalled separately. They've been hauled separately. They've been ridden separately. Uh, they're not buddy sour to each other. They work just fine alone, but they work together as well. Um, again, it's, this is just such a unique set. Um, we want to clarify too, this is, uh, you get both horses. So when you're bidding on hip number 20, if you're the winning bidder, you will get both of these horses. It's a two for one. Um, they're gypsy crosses. Gypsies have been hot, hot, hot for several years now. Um, they're not that easy to find. Here you've got two of them that match each other. Um, it's just a real cool, unique opportunity. Um, they're only 10 and 11 years old, and these horses are going to live a little longer than, than the average quarter horse or paint horse, so they got a ton of life ahead of them. Um, they're cool. They're unique. You're not going to go anywhere where anybody else is going to have a match set like this um, that's as versatile as this pair um, to ride out on the trails or pull or pack or whatever you want to do. Um, again, it's just something we were way excited to see them. Uh, it's a cool set. It's an opportunity you don't see coming along every day. You're not going to see it again. You'll wear out a vehicle trying to find this opportunity again. And we've got them right here for you in our sale. Um, an opportunity to have a match pair and you get two for one. You get both for your your bid if you're the highest bidder. So we want to make sure that you know people realize just how unique. Um, you know, We've got a bunch of unique in this sale and we're excited about it. Um, and and excited to see where these horses end up. Moving on to hip number 21. Speaking of unique, here's another one for us. Um, this is Sully. Oh, sorry, we're going to use not that video, but this video. Okay, Sully is a 17 two hand 2013 grade Belgian gelding. Um, what an awesome horse they say he is. Uh, he's kind of horse that go, loves loves everyone, loves to meet you no matter where they go. Everybody notices him. He's easy going. Uh, he'll get along. He's a gentle giant. Uh, he's been used to pull carts single or teamed up. Um, they are selling the harness with him. It says in the catalog right up so you can get a harness with him. Um, they've rode him all over the mountains, pushing cattle, packing game, and salt. Um, setting cameras. Uh, he does great in the steep country, uh, getting around. You know, I talk all the time when I see horses about, oh, that horse will probably carry a whole elk. This horse might carry two. So if you're looking for something to pack with, big solid there. He's been ridden all over the mountains. He's You can see him work through here, the sure-footed. He's broke to pole. Um, just, he's cool. They call him a gentle giant. He's Nine years old, and again, these drafts tend to live longer. He's probably going to live to pushing 30, 30 plus. Um, you can see here riding bareback and a halter and a lead rope. Um, just a cool opportunity if you're looking for something different. Um, you can see how that with him riding him, the, he rides out good. Uh, a lot of the you know the drafts have the cold blood and always just tend to have the great temperaments and easy going. Um, you can see, I, I, watching this video earlier, getting on and off him, how well he stands, paying attention to his rider. Um, this is just another, again, I can't say it enough, we've got so many unique horses in this cell. We're excited to see how they how they end up and where they go. Um, and this is just another one of those uh, that's really cool and kind of a first for us. Um, we've had a team of Belgians in the past, but they weren't broke to ride like this. So it's just another one that's a first for us that we're, we're excited to have and excited to see where he ends up um, and something that somebody, if they're looking for unique, um, we've got several um, in this cell that'll, that'll fit for that description. Chase um, is up there in West Point, Utah, by the way, um, he does a great job with getting us good information on these horses. Um, uses these horses in a variety of ways. 
Uh, he had a really nice horse in our May sale that sold well and the buyers were happy with. And we're excited to see him back with, with two really good horses in this sale. Um, and again, I want to reiterate, he does a great job working with these horses um, and getting us some some unique and cool videos and pictures. Um, here you can see him out riding in the lake. Moving on to hip number 22. Excuse me. Hip number 22 is brought to us by Jared Sweat over in, I believe, Mount Pleasant, Utah. Um, but I know over there in San Pete County. Uh, this is Diesel. He's a 2012 grade gelding. He's 15 two hands. Um, he has good confirmation. He's quiet, very fancy, trained. He was born and trained in Ohio, where he was used in every fashion on the trails, in the arena, and in traffic. For the last four years, they've used him on their ranch over there in San Pete County uh, to pair cattle. He has lots of mountain rides on him, herding cows, as well as pleasure rides. He crosses logs and rivers with ease, stands quiet when clipped, bathed and chewed. He's handy, broke, neck range really well. I like how this horse is put together as well. Um, really like the, the big, solid, kind of big bone hip and, and front shoulder on him. Um, I like how he pays attention to the rider. Uh, just a good, nice, solid, and again, another one that the best color is broke, but color doesn't hurt anything. Um, and, and here's one that's got the buckskin to go with it. I think this is actually maybe the last buckskin in the sale, but um, he's been used out on the ranch. Um, you know, they talk about him coming from Ohio and, and what they describe. It wouldn't surprise me if he was used by the Amish out there. Um, but they've had him for four years, so you know that they've used him all over on the ranch over there and out in that country. Um, Going to be just a good, solid, nice horse. I like that stop on him right there. I like how he tucks his head to back up and paying attention to the rider. Stops and stands good. Um, just a good, solid, all-around horse here. He's only nine years old. Again, got his, a lot of life ahead of him. Um, and right in the middle of his prime. Um, you can see him here working the cows out through the country um, and again where they've used him for four years out on the ranch you just you know they've got miles on him um, you know we see later in this video where they, they got him spinning and pivoting off his back end um, showing that he works off of his feet uh, just a good solid well-rounded gelding um, that you know it's I, I talk all the time with people about how things have changed in the last 20 or 30 years you know, 20, 30 years ago, before ATVs were real popular, you saw a lot of horses that got rode a lot more than what they do today. Today, horses that used to do jobs that now ATVs do sit more. And so when you find these horses that have got the miles, got the experience, um, it's something that's not just a given anymore on some of these uh, middle-aged geldings. But here's one that you know has got those miles, got the experience, going to take care of you, be ready to go use on, on a job about anywhere, um, and just and he's flashy and pretty to go with it. Moving on to hip number 23. This is another one brought to us by Cobb Family. Horses and Mules, we're going to use a little bit of both these videos. Um... This is Dollar. He's you can see him roping out of the box here on the heel side. Uh, he is a 2010 model. He's 15 hands. Um, he's been used extensively all over the ranch. He's finished on the hill side and breakaway. They've hauled him to countless jackpots. Used him for college rodeos the last couple of years. Um, he has the speed you need to be at the corner when you need him to be there. He's easy to catch, has excellent ground manners. He's never offered to buck. Is safe enough to pack just about anybody. Um, has all the buttons, extremely broke. He isn't a plug. You're probably going to need some experience to ride him just because of he's got some go. I talked to Matt with that, about that last week. Is He's got a bit of a motor to him, so you need somebody that's got some confidence to handle that. But I also know when they gathered last week, they put a, a, somebody that came to help gather um, on this horse and I know he told me when they got back that 
the person that wrote him for the gathering um, was pretty excited about him and really liked him um, spending the time out riding on the gathering and, and working the cows. Um, I saw this horse up there last week too. Um, thought he was put together well. Um, good, solid, nice horse. Again, if you're looking for something uh, to go out and heel on in the jackpots or breakaway rope, um, maybe something at the high school level for high school rodeo. Um, here's one that's been hauled and used for that, um, even up to the college level, um, and still got a ton of life ahead of him. And if you need to pull your little girl around in a wagon, he's got some experience doing that as well. Okay, moving on to hip number 24. This is Charlie. Uh, this is the another one from RMO Horses. This is their last horse in the cell right here. Charlie is a 14 three hand 2012 grade gelding. He's a fun horse to ride and use. He's catty. He's quick. He'll ride around like a broke using horse should. There's no funny business with him. He moves off your legs. He's nice. Has a nice stop. Watches a cow. He's good to use out on the mountain. Gather on. Good in the browning pen. He's been roped outside, uh, roped on outside. He's a fun horse to ride. Quiet up on the trails on the, on the mountains. Got a lot of experience, and he's perfect age. Um, he's just nine years old, so he's got the miles behind him to have the experience. But he got a ton of life ahead of him. You can see him walking up through the creek right here. I like how he carries his head. I like the hip on this horse. Um, he's real well put together. You can see how he travels the country out through here. Um, again, I like how he's carrying his head through here and carrying the bit. Um, well put together. He's going to have the experience used on the ranch and out on the trails. Um, again, I can't reiterate enough with some of these consigners, the miles that these horses get with them that other horses are never going to get. You see him there catching the end of the horn, stopping that calf and how he handled it and, and just held good. I think that was a calf. Maybe that was a bigger cow. But... Um, yeah, they're going to drag him through. But, you know, it just, you can't talk enough about the experience these horses get in these situations um, and what it means for them in the long haul. That is a big calf. Um, but really like how this horse carries its head. Uh, and again, you know, coming from up there, that it's going to see a little bit of everything. Um, just a good, solid, well rounded gelding. Again, he's that size I really have come to like uh, he's 14 three hands um and i you know again i like how this horse is put together i like the hip on him um he's got a good looking head um liking how he's carrying that head and handling the everything in this environment you can just see he's paying attention and taking everything in stride and it goes to show a lot for what kind of horse disposition he is i've talked quite a bit about disposition and what that means and again you can just see it in in a lot of this stuff right here that he's got the disposition that you need not going to be bothered by the tarp or flags flying around um see him here loping out across crossing water just you know, you can just kind of see in this horse, he takes everything in stride, and that says a lot for the disposition. Moving on to hip number 25. This is uh, our other horse from Tim Cobb up in Weezer, Idaho. This is Pontiac. He is a 2009 grade gelding. He's 15 three hands, weighs about 1,350 pounds. Um, I saw this horse up there again last week, um, and I'm, they used him to gather um, again. Uh, saw him right after they got done gathering. He's big, nice, solid, well put together gelding. Um, they've used him to doctor and calve on. Um, he's drug a bunch of calves to the fire. Uh, they've had their grandkids riding him as well as grandma. 
Um, they've turned him out for long periods of time, and he'll saddle up and ride off the same. He's a friendly horse and likes attention. He's great to lead a pack string as well. Um, they pack a lot of salt back up into those hills for those cows. I'm sure they've used him in that. Um, he'll cross everything and everything that's put in front of him. Um, again, big, solid, nice hip. Um, I saw him up there last week and just liked the way he was put together. Um, he's going to be one, again, out on the ranch. If you need to doctor a cow, he's going to have the pull and the power. You know, 1,350 pounds at 15 three hands, he's going to be able to hold whatever you need to hold the doctor. Uh, he's 12 years old, got a ton of life ahead of him. Not just another good, solid using gelding here in front of us. You see him loping the circles out in through there. You know, it's... I again point out, look at those hills back up behind those horses. These horses have seen miles and miles back up in that country. You may not be able to see it through there, but, you know, I sit and visiting them with them last week. They I, Over and over, whether it was the Cobb family or whether it was Tim or, or some of the people they had up there helping gather, all I heard over and over again was how steep a lot of that country is. And these horses have been used up through there. You just saw them rope a cow on them. You can see them here, use the gate. But... Um, I guarantee you these horses back up in that country have seen some rough country um, and, and know how to handle it. Um, if you're looking for something to go out in the mountains, these, these horses will have seen it. Okay, we're going to move on to hip number 26. This is Gus. This is the other horse brought to us by JC Performance Horses. Um, boy, if you're looking for pretty, I don't know if we've got a prettier one in this sale. Um, just that really dark chocolate Palomino, um, the mane and the tail setting it off, and um, he'll definitely stand out and get you noticed as well. This is a 2013 grade model. Gelding, um, he is 14 three hands. He's very cool gelding. He's the kindest horse around. Loves people. He's honest, gentle, quiet. He's a showstopper with his stunning golden color and platinum mane and tail. Flawless conformation. Saddle him up and go. He's the same even with time off. He's easy to catch. He stands good for shoeing. He's super sweet, willing and gentle. Um, he's a great size. Again, I've been talking with Jane about this horse. Um, she's been putting a lot of miles out on those trails with him, and she just told me over and over again how far this horse has come and the time she's had him and how much she enjoys riding him and how great of a good trail horse, all-around kind of a horse he's going to make. Um, he's just, you can see here, going through the trail course. Um, but I know Jane's talked to me two or three times the last couple of weeks just about how much she's really liked riding this horse and, and how much fun she's had over the last four or five weeks with him. Um, and that he's really going to make somebody a really nice horse. Um, and boy, he's going to get you noticed with that color and attention. Um, he's got nice confirmation. Um, and, I, you know, I'll tell you when Jane starts talking about how fun a horse to ride is, I, I pay attention because she's, she's going to tell you the way it really is. And if she tells you that that horse has come, you know, into something that's really fun to ride, uh, I guarantee you, you can expect that's the way it's going to be. Um, they've also hauled him to some events and some uh, practice, practicing in the arena skills. Um, and, you know, again, when Jane tells me that she's really enjoyed and excited about a horse, I pay attention. And she's been excited about both these horses in this cell. Um, and I've talked to her about both of them. And this is just, you know, again, if you're looking for unique from a color perspective, I maybe have seen a half a dozen this color in my life. Um, that doesn't mean that I've seen every horse out there, but you just don't see this chocolate Palomino every day. Um, you see how he's just standing there paying attention to her. Um, got a great disposition. And again, if Jane talks about how fun and easy and, and, and good he is to ride, I'm going to pay attention.
I want to remind everybody there's, you know, this is another one that's got multiple videos. Um, take the time to go watch the additional video time on these videos um, as well as the additional videos. Um, and, and again, we're going to reiterate, take, take the time to go and call and talk to these consigners if you haven't and ask some specific questions. Um, make sure that you're comfortable with what you're bidding on and that you know what you're going to get. Moving on to hip number 27. This is Quigley, brought to us by India Indigo Sappington up there in Ontario, Oregon. Um, this is a 2015 grade gelding. He's 14 two hands. He's very well-mannered gelding uh, that is sweet as can be. Has not got a mean bone in his body. He'll greet you at the pasture. He's very easy to catch. He rides out on the trails. Great. Has been has all the buttons in the arena. He's been used to ranch rope on, gather, process, work cattle. Um, this is one I was watching the video. I like, again, the build and confirmation. Um, I like there trying to tuck his rear end under on that stop. You can see him working a little bit off his feet. I like how he carries his head. Um, I like how this gelding's put together. He's real well put together, uh, level-headed, um, walking out nice. This is one uh, I've, I've talked to some people who've been around Indigo while he's using this horse. He does some day work up there on the ranches around that country in Ontario and Weezer and been told over and over that this is just a really nice, good, solid young gelding that's going to make somebody a heck of a horse. Um, he's old enough to have some experience but ready to go out and have his whole life ahead of him uh again nicely put together kind of a size that i like uh i watching in this video uh if i remember he works pretty well off of his feet in here um we're not going to see all the video again but um i like how he carries his head lope in these circles uh, just a good, solid, well put together, nice gelding. Um, and again, talking to those guys up there that have seen Indigo riding around, um, they've they've said you really ought to be paying attention to this horse. It's a pretty nice horse. Um, so here's another one that's just a good, solid, well put together horse. Um, just entering the prime of his life. Um, I really like how he's trying to stop there. Um, one that you know you go fine tune a little bit, and you can make something to go and work in the show pen with um you can see he's friendly i like some it's like some attention there and you know it's when, when you look at some of these horses and you just look at the confirmation this is this is what i like to see um and how a horse is put together uh, just to me stand it doesn't matter what color they are they stand out I like how he stops coming out of that lope and just stands for him and waits. Um, not looking hot or anything, just paying attention and ready for what the rider asks him to do next. Moving on to hip number 28. Here's another one from Greg and Tady, Katie Torgerson. This is a 2021 weanling. Um, she is by PCR Pink Cadillac, uh, by Dash to Fame, by First Down Dash. Um, you can see there, uh, this is the sire of this colt. Um, you can see here where he shed off, and he's got eligibility for all the major futurities, Pink Buckle, Ruby Buckle, Breeders' Challenge, VGBRA, Colorado Classic, Future Fortunes, and many more. Um, his sire's an up-and-coming in the barrel pen has been for several years he's proven in the barrel pen he's got offspring that's proven in the barrel pen he's eligible for all the major futurities and here is a nice young colt that's right here in front of you, you go take him take him up through and use the futurities turn him into the cornerstone of a breeding program um, he's gonna have looks like some color to him with their own as he roamed out this this summer just you know again if you're looking for something down the road that's gonna be eligible for all the major futurities here he is 
Um, if you're looking for the cornerstone of a pre program, you've got one. Um, you know, I want to talk a little bit more about the pedigree on his, on this colt because I believe he's out of a daughter, Elaine's Leister, um, a mix that if is pretty popular. I'm trying to get here to it. So he's by PCR Pink Cadillac, by Dash to Fame, by First Down Dash, and also has Lane's Leaster on the top. So the dam of PCR Pink Cadillac is a daughter of Lane's Leaster. On the bottom, out of Just Dashing Darling by Royal Quick Clash, by again First Down Dash, and then uh, Mr. Jess Perry on the bottom. So um, I know in the barrel pen that First Down Dash and Lane's Leaster Cross is something a lot of people look for. Um, here's one that's got it up there on the top. Um, he's eligible for all the futurities. He could become the cornerstone of a breeding program um, and is ready to go out and have somebody make something in, make a really nice future horse out of him. Here's hip number 29. This is Tress Alina. It's a 14 hand 2016 AQHA mare. Trying to get to her papers here. She's brought to us by Ken Smith up in Idaho. He, she is by Demandalina, by Commandalina, by the great smart Chickalina. Also Lena's Guy Raider on the top. On the bottom, out of I won a little Lena by Myphalina, by the great smart little Lena. Also lean with me on the bottom. Um, you know, smart Chickalina up there on the top, smart little Lena on the bottom. You got a heck of a good foundation quarter horse pedigree there um i'm a real big fan of smart chickalina horses um ken's done a great job with her uh, i think he's up in caldwell idaho the locations are there on the website again but you know ken's done a great job getting a good foundation on this mare you can see how she carries her head collected um you see her spinning later in the video you see how she's just nice and collected up and how she handles. Um, if you're looking for a good solid young horse with a good reigning start type foundation on her, you can finish out and go to the show pen with reigning or rain cow horse. Or, you know, if you haven't ridden some of these horses with a reigning foundation, they're so easy to take into other disciplines because they just, with this kind of foundation, they're, they're taught to carry and collect right, move off your feet. Um, you can see here spinning. Um, they pick up their leads. You know, it's just when you get into this with the, the, the reigning foundation, um, you get a great, great foundation on these horses. Um, here's a nice young, five years old. Both of her her sire and her dam on the top, uh, or on, on both sides go back to world champions and smart little Lena, smart chick Lena. Um, so if you want something to go use and show but then get some babies out down the line you've got a good pedigree to go with it uh just another good solid um nice mare right there moving on to hip number 30 this is apache um i really enjoyed watching this video um you can see a lot on this horse through this video um that quinn brought us quinn peterson is up there in utah county in in utah uh, Apache is a 2009 draft cross gelding. Uh, he's 15 two hands. He has a nice one-handed neck neck rein. Uh, stop and slide and pass, slide side pass and back. Uh, he's been used in all aspects of ranch work as well as in an outfitting camp. Um, you can see in this video just how well he handles everything. Um, working the gates, working some cattle. Um, I just again I thought this video really showed this horse well. Um, and what the horse could do. You see him rattling the gate there. Um, saw him work the gate. See him working off his feet. See how he stops the stands there. Um, got him swinging the rope. Um, this just, you know, we've seen a lot of people looking for these draft crosses. We're always excited to see them on our cell. Um, they always tend to have, for the most part, really good dispositions. Um, and when we see them finished out like this, we're always excited uh, to see what's been done with him and this is just a good solid all-around horse um he seemed here he's going to work the gate let it steer out and go rope it it's just 
you know, you can see this horse, you can see the miles he's got on him, you can see what he's had jumps and, and knows what he's doing. Um, he's big, he's solid, he's going to be able to carry anybody, he's going to be able to pack an elk, um, he can hold a cow. But just uh, this is really kind of a cool horse that um, we see a lot of people looking for him, and, and here's another good one right here in our cell. See him tying off and holding the, the steer here. Again, I just really thought this was a well put together video that really showed this horse well. Um, you can see what he is. And it, it's a horse somebody's really going to be happy with, I think. And he's only six years old. He's got a ton of life ahead of him. Um, and going to do make somebody a heck of a horse and one that's got tons and tons of life ahead of him. Moving on to hip number 31. This is Willie. We just loaded a second video for Willie yesterday. So if you're watching Willie and you didn't know, um, there is another video up on him. Um, this is another one brought to us by Carl and Chelsea Ackerman uh, out of Minotaur, Nebraska. Uh, again, Carl and Chelsea work the feedlots up there. These horses see... Uh, a lot of days in working gates and working cattle and working those pens. Um, I know for sure this one Carl has had out um, doing ranch rodeos on. Um, I know talking with Carl, he really has liked this horse. He's really excited about it. Uh, he's a 2015 model. He's just six years old. Uh, he's 15 hands. Um, he's flashy. He's well put together. He's got a pretty head. Um, he's got the looks, athleticism, and catches everybody's eye. He's Good all-around gelding, from dragging calves to the fire to being used on the ranch and the feedlot. He's seen a ton of miles. Um, he's their main horse for many things. Um, he can go into the arena and compete in a ranch rodeo or just go out for your everyday ride. He's soft in the face, rides around one-handed, has a big powerful stop, will flat out spin around. Um, he's the real deal. Um, would make anyone a high-end breakaway or rope horse uh, or just your everyday ranch horse. Um, and I'm actually using the wrong video. I'm going to jump out of this video. I'll, I'll, I'll finish this out and then I'll jump back in. This is a ranch rodeo they did just two or three weeks ago. Um, you can come around. One of the things that I noticed um, that told me something on this horse, you know, you'll see here in a second, uh, they've got a steer caught and they're going to trailer him. Carl jumps off and comes around and you'll notice that horse never leaves where Carl leaves him in all the commotions, just stands there ready to go that to me shows me that that that's nothing new to that horse out working the pens and the cattle um, he knows his job and he's going to be there when Carl comes back to him um, I'm going to jump back to this other video I got them in the wrong order just I want to showcase they they just sent me some footage they've got this horse um, started on their open side and, and ready to go out and be finished out um, you can see they've been roping the sled quite a bit with him on both ends um, so I wanted to make sure we got some of this footage up where they've got him a good start um, on that and, and ready to go finish out. And he's got the size and athleticism to go really make a nice rope horse, uh, ranch horse, you know, doing the ranch rodeo. Uh, again, Carl's told me over and again how much he likes this horse. Um, been really excited about this horse. We're really excited to have him in the sale. You can see there Carl working with him, getting him to collect right, hold his head right, um, flexing him out. Um, you know, those are, I can't stress how much to me that's important to get the right kind of foundation on a horse, to teach them to collect, carry their head, um, and, and how to flex out. 
Uh, Cash going to jump back into the what we've seen, but a, a good another good solid, real nice gelding, and just entering the prime of his life. Um, it's going to make somebody a really nice horse. Here's another one that's uh, a good exciting. I hope we got some people that are into reining and rain cow horse paying attention to this sale. Um, we got three good options from the finish proven horse in number ten to the Tessalina horse we just watched. To here's another good solid finished reining foundation horse. This is. Tomboy's Top Spot by Smart Little Pepnik, by Smart Little Uno, by the great Smart Little Lena. Also, Peppy Sand Badger on the top. On the bottom, out of tough little, A Tough Little Tomboy, by SS Trick Lena, by the great Smart Little Lena again. And then Jem's Red Dog. Uh, you can see in this video, she's got a great reigning foundation on her. Um, she's extremely trained in many disciplines. They've, she's Best of all, she's safe and gentle. Um, she was trained for rain cow horse. She's a big, pretty stopper, has beautiful spins, lopes low-headed and circles with a draped grain, um, would make an awesome youth or green horse for a youth or green rider, um, has been trail ridden a ton in the hills, is traffic safe, is a pro out on the ranch, she knows what a day's work is, absolutely no blemishes, perfect con confirmation, um, this is 100% sound, we'll remind everybody again, they've got the, the pre-purchase exams up, you can see her good, nice slide stop there. Um, again, it just, I, I can't emphasize enough. If you go try to put the training for these reigning foundations, um, and pay a trainer, you're going to be thousands of dollars to get this kind of a handle on a horse. Um, if you don't know how to do it yourself. Um, and if you're looking for something to go to the show pen, but even if you're not, again, another good, nice sliding stop. Even if you're not going to the show pen, I can't emphasize enough how much this reigning foundation makes horses so easy to transition into anything you want to do when they know how to work off your feet and, and collect up and, and handle like that. It's just, they're so fun to ride. If you haven't ridden one, um, when they've got this reigning foundation, they're, a, they're just a lot of fun to ride and you can go do just about anything on them. This horse is one that if you want to go to the local shows, it's probably going to go in and get you some ribbons and, and maybe even a check and, and, you know, with the pedigree on her, this is another one. She's 10 years old. She's got a lot of life ahead of her. Go use her for five or six years and get three or four babies out of her um, with some great pedigrees um, or even just plug her into a breeding program and get some babies out of her. Uh, this is just a really nice solid mare with a great foundation um, that you're not going to find every day. And again, if you try to go put that kind of training on a horse, you're going to be several thousand dollars just in the trainer. Okay, moving on to hip number 33. This is a little bit of a late comer. Um, in our sale process, when we select these horses, we keep a reserve list. This horse was on our reserve list. The horse that was originally in the 33 spot um, got stone bruised a little bit, um, and they pulled him out to heal up. He'll be available in our November sale, um, and we backfilled from our reserve list to this, uh, another kind of a really a unique option here. Um, this is Goat, brought to us by Kimberly Oldrickson. Um, she's down in Arizona. This is a Gypsy Welch Cross. Um, again, I, I'm pretty sure that's the first of those that I've seen. Um, she's He's five years old, 14 hands. He's super gentle on the ground, loves people, gentle and smooth to ride, loves the trails, doesn't spook. He's easy and good for the family. Um, he came back from back east and had been around cattle. He gets along great with other horses. He's sound and will walk on trope good. Uh, you see she crawls all around and under and are all over this horse. He's that size again where if you got a youth that needs some confidence uh, but wants something that the horse can still ride or that the adults can still ride, um, he's right here in front of you. Um, he's unique. Again, I don't think I've seen any other gypsies crossed with Welches. Um, kind of a cool, different color. Um just kind of a fun size and you can see there's some dis dis disposition indications from him um, so just another good solid kind of a cool different unique kind of a horse
She's swinging the rope off of him there. I like how he just stands for her, getting on and off and all the different things that she's doing around him. Um, seems to have just a good, calm demeanor. Um, she's going to handle his feet here. You know, again, don't don't overlook him just because he came in late. He was selected on our reserve list. He was in line to, for the very purpose he's here, uh, to backfill a spot if a horse got injured. And here he is. Here she is, again, swinging the rope. Um, just finding this size of horse is tough to find. So when you find them and they got good disposition and, and are ready to go, uh, make sure you pay attention to them. See him walking out there. Okay, moving on to hip number 34. This horse is brought to us by Quentin Osborne, QR Performance Horses, up in Grandview, Idaho. This is Go Go. She's a 2016 grade mare. Uh, she stands out in any crowd. She's super gentle, willing, and athletic. Uh, Quentin also works a feedlot and, and ranches. Um, he's been using this mare up in a feedlot. It's a 110,000 head feedlot up there in Grandview. And he says she's very cowy, very soft in her whole body, works off your legs and stays quiet with time. Handy to rope on, an exceptional young mare for most anybody to ride. Um, you know, Quentin does a great job with these horses and gets a good foundation on them. Uh, it's, an, again, horses that when he's riding them, they're going to get some long days and know what a job is. Uh, I know talking with Quentin, he's talked to me about how great this mare's disposition is. She's flashy. She's well put together. Um, Quentin told me the other day his daughter's been riding the pens with him, and this is the horse she's been riding on. Um, he's He's been talking to me about this horse for three or four months. Um, showed showed him showed her to me um, clear back before our spring sale, and we've been talking ever since. I like how she's put together. Um, when Quentin tells me that a horse is pretty cool and and a great ride, I tend to pay attention. Um, I really like the way that Quentin works with these horses. Um, we've got him riding a horse for us right now, in fact. Uh, and he just does a great job. And when he tells me that I ought to be paying attention to a horse, I pay attention. Um, I'm sure that this mare is no exception. Uh, again, he's told me over and over again about how great her disposition is. I know Quentin's daughter's been riding this horse in the pen. Um, I guarantee this horse is got the experience she's only five one of the things that quentin mentioned to me is the disposition for a five-year-old um just how good it was um and how she really could make a horse that just about anybody can ride um and that's so unique when you get into those young horses to have that kind of disposition you can see it here and you know coming out of that lope and pivoting back and how she just walks out of it calm and carrying her head right it's just really nice solid mare and again when quentin tells me that i ought to be paying attention to a horse i do so this is a, a good solid mare that somebody ought to be really paying attention for um that's going to make somebody a really nice horse and has a whole life ahead of her loping nice circles um i know quentin besides riding the pens he spends quite a bit of time in the arena with these horse gets him flexing gets him carrying the bit right Gets him working off the feet. Um, he, he uses his day job working the pens to, to teach these horses a lot. Flexing around gates and working gates and working off the feet. Um, just, he does a great job with these horses. And I, this mare is going to be something that somebody's really going to enjoy. Moving on to hip number 35. This is Wyatt Earp. He's brought to us by Jordan Train. Um, he have Jake Steven as the agent on it. Um, this is a 2012 grade gelding. He's 16 hands. He's really cool, totally sound, probably not for complete beginners, but if you have any kind of experience, he's awesome. Uh, he's great on the trails and has pushed cows. He's super sure-footed and strong on the mountain, has been roped on some, followed the, the head dummy a bunch, would make a great head horse with some more time. He's also been patterned on the barrels. Feels pretty natural in them. Um, and basically could go in about any direction. Uh, again, I, I, I mentioned Jake Stevens, an agent on it. I know Jake was riding this horse 
for him back. And I can't stress enough um, how much I like what Jake does with horses. Um, and the horses that I've ridden that Jake's worked with have always been exceptional. Um, this is a big, nice, solid horse that's nine years old. He's got a ton of life. Um, as they mentioned, seems to take to the barrels. You might go finish him out and take him to the jackpots. Um, finish him out into a head horse, big, solid, nice. Go out on the trails. Um, he's he's big enough to carry about anything. You look at that front shoulder on him, he's going to be able to pull a house off its foundation, it looks like. Um, got some color to him to go with it. Um, just a big, nice, solid, well-rounded gelding um, that's going to make somebody a really good, nice using horse and have a ton of life ahead of him. You see him following the, the burrows here and you know, it's they've they've done a lot of work with him to get him started into their open. You go finish him out, um, make a good solid head horse out of him, um, finish him into the barrel pattern or both. You can see he's I guarantee he's had a ton of miles up through those mountains. Um, just a good solid nice gelding. Sorry guys, didn't need to pause that. Just trying to find my mouse. Okay, moving on to hip number 36. I mentioned earlier that uh, when consigners tell me to really pay attention on the ones that they like, I really pay attention. This is another one from Six Shooter Livestock. Um, Laura sent me a text three or four weeks ago about this horse and just how excited she was about him and how much she liked him, um, how good his temperament was. He's a 2019 model. He's only two years old. Um, and, and she told me over and over again just how great his disposition was, how well he's taken everything as they've been training him, um, and how special she thinks he's going to be. Um, Laura's another one that when she tells me she something's really caught her eye and that it's going to be special. I tend to pay attention. Um, they say that he's started slow and right, shows a true desire to learn. He's been on a few trail rides, gets to see the sights. He's calm, has no buck, and is ready to go the way you want. Um, got some good size. He's a very unique color. Um, I think they texted me, I don't know, it's been seven or eight months ago, um, and said, what would you call this color? Um, and it's, it is kind of, it's, it's, a, he's got the dorsal stripe and kind of a done, but kind of gray, just kind of a very unique color. But, um, again, when, when Laura with six shooter starts telling me how special a horse is, I start paying really close of attention. Um, and, and I'm sure that this is going to be something that somebody's really going to make maybe the horse of a lifetime out of. Um, cause she doesn't just say that about any horse. Um, he's really a cool color nice ride again this is a two-year-old riding out through this stuff you can see how he's handling it see how he's carrying his head seeing how he's carrying his ears um you can see his disposition in this video um they're they've been telling me how great he is uh if you're looking for a young solid good horse to go out and use um you're here's one right here in front of you that is going to be potentially a great horse um and Again, it, when they start telling me that he's really something special, I, I pay attention, and, and I'm sure that he is. And you can, again, just see as a two-year-old how this horse is handling things. Says a ton for his disposition. And Alora talked about how quick he learned, um, how great he learned, um, and he's just one that you just keep going and, and finish him out over the next year and a half, and he's going to make a heck of a horse for somebody. You know, he's going to fill out quite a bit for another three years, too. Um, you know, he's going to have some size to him. 
um, in, in bone and filling out. I don't know that he'll get a ton taller, but you know that's just a horse kind of in that teenage gangly kind of stage of life that is going to fill into himself over the next two or three years that has the disposition and, and ability to really make something special. Moving on to hip number 37. This is Never Kid a Kidder, brought to us by Chase Hackerman uh, up there in West Point, Utah. Uh, he is by Not Kidding Me by Buckley's Mr. Twister by C.L. Buckley. Also, Kid Clue on the top, on the bottom, out, out of Tusiv by Telusiv by Kid Clue again on the bottom. Um, an impressive copy on the bottom. Uh, so you got some halter and, and pleasure breeding in there. Um, he is a 2014 model. Uh, they call him Class. He's an absolute gem. Uh, he's an in-your-pocket kind of horse, very gentle personality. He's put together perfect with solid muscle and big bone. Uh, very straight and impressive. 100% sound, zero flaws. Uh, they say he's clean, clean. Will stand tight all day. Loads, clips, bathes, shoes, combs, saddles, all with ease. He's been out all over the mountains. Elk and deer hunting, packing salt, putting up trail cams um, in camp and hauling meat. He's gone to local jackpots and is wonderful to rope off of. Such an easy level-headed horse, you can do it all. Calm mind, the kids can ride him. He's athletic enough for competition. He has no limit to where he can go. Uh, he's just seven years old. You can see him here, um, loping the circle, working the rope. Um, see him here again, riding the circle. Uh, just a good, nice, solid horse. They've, they've got him going on their open end. He's been all over the mountains. Um, he's registered AQHA. He's got his whole life ahead of him. Um, Again, I, I just can't reiterate enough. We've been so excited about this mix of horses. Um, and and just looking at them all, it's it's just a great mix. And, and every horse in this sale is going to be something that somebody can be excited about owning when the sale's over. As this one finishes out, I'm just going to take a real quick break and be right back. But let you guys finish watching out this video, and I'll be right back. Okay, I am back, and we will move on to hip number 38. This is Sam, brought to us by Cobb Family Horses and Mules up in Weezer, Idaho. This is one I know we've seen a lot of comments on Facebook. Uh, Sam is a 2009 draft cross gelding. He's 16 hands with loads of bone, has a size 2 shoe, beautiful mane and tail, a uh, stout package with a big hind end and a pretty head. He's the size that can get any job done and the color that will definitely get you noticed. He has absolutely no buck and has been used on the ranch out in the mountains. He can drag calves to the fire all day long and then pack you down the trail at night. Sam's big athletic horse um, that is smooth to ride at all gates. Um, again, when we were up there this week visiting a little bit, um, Kelly Cobb rode this horse gathering cows the other day and was telling us 
about how great he was out there in that rough country and how smooth he was to ride and how he could just cover the country and ride out with you, um, how good he was with his feet, um, could walk through pretty much everything and didn't have any stumble or any issues with him to him that way, um, and how much she really liked this horse and was going to miss him. Um, and again, I know we've seen a lot of uh, comments and attention on him on Facebook. Uh, another one of the, the draft crosses that's just, he's he's big, he's solid, he's pretty, he's easy going. Um, he's one of their favorites. Um, he's been used all over the ranch. Um, just, again, good solid gelding with a lot of life ahead of him um, that's going to take care of you out in that rough country, uh, but can also go out and do the ranch chores with you. As we're finishing watching on the video of this horse, we want to put out a couple reminders. One, again, the pre-purchases that you can review in the pictures. Um, there's a lot more video than what we've showed tonight. Please take the chance to go watch them. Um, we will not be live during the bidding closing tomorrow. We'll go live for a few minutes before 5 o'clock just to kind of review where everything's at. Uh, but we don't stream any kind of video while the horses are closing. Um, if you have questions, concerns, need help with the process, feel free to give us a call tomorrow. Um, we're happy to help you. Um, we want to touch again on payment. Um, we had options to qualify for a bank wire, but that needed to be done before noon today. Um, we do have some, but if you didn't already pre-qualify on that, then it will be credit card and there is a 3% processing fee. These horses sell from the consigner locations the buyers will need to pick them up from there or arrange pickup from there um, moving on to hip number 39 this is boots this is the last horse from six shooter livestock um, he is a 15 hand 2011 grade gelding he's a sweetheart to be around and a true pleasure to ride he was used in civil war reenactments and has been exposed to things like cannons musket rifles um, loud screams and people rushing at him. He's carried flags, been used to hog and coon hunt, been used in parades as well. He's the kind that anybody can ride. He's been on several trail rides over the country uh, in many different state parks. He's very sure-footed. Um, he does have a little bit of a cosmetic blemish on his face that does not bother him at all. It's just cosmetic. And again, you can reference the vet report on him. Um, boots will fit into your family quite comfortably. Um, again, we here it is. I've been talking about it all the way through the preview, the the dinosaur costume, um, showing the temperament. Uh, these guys just do a great job of thinking up new ways to to expose horses to things, to showcase them. But it also goes to show their temperament. Um, this horse is ten years old. He's in the prime of his life. Got a ton of life out in front of him. Uh, well put together. He's got a, a very unique background with the Civil War reenactment exposure. Um, just going to make somebody a heck of a good, solid, all-around using horse. Uh, and, and another one that is probably one that somebody can go out and just the whole family can go and use and ride. Um, just kind of takes everything in stride. And here they are bringing in the cattle. I'm sure that they've sorted on him. Uh, you know, it's, again, just a good, solid, nice, all-around gelding. Um, back to a couple of the reminders. Um, our terms and conditions are up. Uh, if you need transport help in that tab on the Octria site, uh, you can go and look for commercial transports. You can also contact the consigners. They might be on that. I want to touch that. Um, after the sale, the buyers have seven days. Uh, to get the horses picked up. If you go beyond the seven days, you need to make arrangements with the consigner. Um, they may charge you board and feed if it's beyond the seven days, and they may ask you to pick up an insurance policy on the horse uh, while they house it. Um, and we would suggest uh, you pick one up anyways. Um, they're not overly expensive to insure these horses. You're making an investment. Um, if, if you're interested in that, you can reach out to us. Uh, we know three or four agents that do equine insurance that we can refer you to. Um, but 
you have those seven days to get it picked up. If it go beyond that, you need to make arrangements uh, with the consigner. We understand commercial transporters are sometimes further out than that. The consigners will work with you, but we just want you to understand uh, there will probably be a board fee if it goes beyond seven days. Moving on to the last horse, hip number 40. This is Cowboy. It's another one we've seen a lot of attention on on social media. Cowboy's a 2009 grade gelding brought to us by Cobb Family Horses and Mules. He's 14 hands. He's kind of that cool size for in between kids and adults that everybody kind of likes, um, or a lot of people do anyways. He's been used on the ranch, in the feedlot, down the trail. For the last two summers, they've used their daughters have used him to do riding lessons and teach kids how to ride. Uh, in the fall, the boys have used him as their main hunting mount. Um, in the winter, the dads used him to doctor yearlings. Uh, he's extremely broke, fun to ride. Uh, he rides great in the arena. And will absolutely watch a cow. Um, this horse is guaranteed to make the new owner very happy, according to the Cubs. Um, and again, this is one that I know. I talked to somebody that went and, and saw him in person and rode him um, a couple days ago that, that came back and said they really liked him. It's just, you know, these are the kind of horses with this disposition that everybody can ride. Um, kind of a cool size that fits everybody. Um See him loping out here in a nice circle. Uh, this and this is the kind of horse, and there's several of them in this cell. Just hard to find kind of horses, and we're excited to have them. On some of the final reminders, um, tomorrow when bidding closes, payment will be due by the end of the sale. Um, unless you've made a bank wire arrangement, um, you will need to pay. Uh, you'll get a notice if you're the winning bidder. To be able to go in and pay um, with your card if you need to enter a different card you can um, if you need to use multiple cards you can give us a call we can break it up and charge multiple cards if you need us to um, again we ask that you review the terms and conditions on the sale understand those before the sale we ask that you call the consigners and ask and talk to them about the horses before you bid on them uh, we wish everybody great luck um, if you have questions uh, don't hesitate to give us a call tomorrow. We're happy to field the questions and help. Uh, we look forward to a great sale and seeing where these horses end up. Um, we appreciate everybody's support. We appreciate the great mix of horses we have. And we look forward to seeing everything play out tomorrow and where these horses will end up. Thank you, everybody, and have a great night.